Hi guys, Dr. Yerby here. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to use the DD and DCFLDD commands in Linux. First, we want to sign into our machine. Then, this is a VM, so I'm going to go to my removable devices and I'm going to tell the the Linux distro to connect to the USB drive. Give me a warning message, and you'll see it pop up over here in my lower left corner down here, and it'll bring the drive up. I'm going to go ahead and close that. Next we want to see a list of the different disks that are available. First I'm going to switch directories to my desktop test folder. Uh, this is where I'll be doing my work. Uh, now I'll go ahead and run the fdisk command. So I'll type sudo fdisk switch l and this will give me a listing of all the different disks connected to this. So we can see this isn't the right drive. That one's a thousand gigabytes. That's not the one I want. See all these other devices that are uh, connected here. And here's the one that I'm interested in. I can see the size is 131 megabytes. And I can see this dev slash scc. So I'll go ahead and copy this as the drive. Let me go ahead and clear this screen off. Now I will go through and I'm going to actually run the dd command. So I'll see uh, the input file and I'll go ahead and paste in my uh, path. My output file, I'll save it again. I'm in the test folder on my uh, desktop. So I'll go ahead and give this a name. I'll just call it USB drive.dd. And you look over in the left, you can see the files created here. And we can see that the the command was successful. It read this number of records in, put this number of records out, created this size. I can go to the properties. Everything looks to be in order. It tells me how many bytes, the size of megabytes. It tells me it was just created. All right. So next, I'll want to check the hash values. So I'm going to run the md5sum command. And I'll run it on the drive itself first. And I need to save that to a file. So I'll go ahead and name this. .txt. And this is where it will calculate the hash of the original evidence. So I can go ahead and open this file and look at what the hash value is. So everything that's on that drive, that's the hash value. So now I need to calculate the hash drive of the DD image that I just created. So I can I can create this uh, file separately, or I can concatenate the existing file with the hash value of the DD. So instead of calculating for the drive directly, I'll just put in my USB drive .dd, then I'll pipe that command, and I will send it over um, to tell it to calculate the MD5 sum and we'll just send it right back to that command right back to that text file All right so that's just that same text file I can go ahead and open it again and look at there we have a match so at this point we can verify that the the original evidence and the uh, the, the image is the same so now I'm going to try the same thing with the DCFLDD, which is an enhanced version. There are some additional features in here that I'm not going to go into in this video, uh, but we can support some additional metadata, some compression, uh, but I just want to show you what it looks like. So we see that this number of records in and out is different. So does that mean that our images are different, that we're going to have different hash values? It should not mean that. So let's, let's check that because that's extremely important. So again, we're going to uh, get the, the hash, and I see I type it in two, two or three times here, so you'll see my entry. Um, let's see. So each time I did the hash, I did the hash of the original drive, and I did the hash of the USB drive 2.dd that I created with the DCFLDD command, and everything's the same. One last feature I can use with DCFLDs, I can use this slide, this VF option, and that's just going to verify the disk. Uh, so I'll put in my image name, and what it'll do is compare the original, and you can see I have a match here. So those are two different ways that we can use DD or DCFLDD to do an image in Linux. Thanks.